What's up everybody, Ali and Adam here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a really sick wide white noise to use in mostly electronic music, but you can use this effect for risers, um, the white noise that you hear used in drops. Um, it's used countlessly. I think most producers, if not all, have them in their arsenal. And uh, most of the time people are using samples or sometimes generating it through an instrument I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to make it really fast, really easy. And uh, one key thing is that you're going to be able to control the width very easily instead of having to bicker with like VSTs where you add delay or um, mess around with the stereo shape. So let's jump right into it. So here I have uh, Synapse Audio Dune 2. There is also the first version of Dune. Um, but Dune 2 has these added features which will allow us to do this. So if you haven't used this synth, it's an amazing synthesizer. Where the power of it really is, is in the Unison engine and their effects are fantastic. They're also modular, you can rearrange the effects however you like. What we're going to do first is we're going to initialize the patch. So if you haven't already, just hit initialize patch. We are going to mute oscillator one because it's just a little sawtooth. So mute that and we're gonna go to noise. So we're gonna mess around with noise. Now noise is in the oscillator three section. You can mess around with the high pass. I probably would just eliminate some of the low end rumble. And you have this really nice width parameter, which is amazing. You guys can create wide noise without worrying about keeping it so mono or messing around and, and making it out of phase. So let's experiment. I'm going to switch to mono. So for now, we're going to leave high pass filter around 300 hertz just to get rid of the uh, bassy sub frequencies, the rumble. We'll leave width at about 50%. And of course, you could leave this um, smack in the middle of zero. But I find that you could automate this and we can get creative with it. So we'll leave that at 50%. Now, before we finish the sound design, let's just make a basic uh, piano roll. As a general rule with white noise, just stick with C5. Just stick with a basic root note. Um, it shouldn't change the desired effect, but just like in Steve Duda's uh, Serum, it's just generally recommended. It's just a single note, you know, just a standard re-trigger. So I just keep my white noise on this C5. So we'll just make it not too long. We will go to the EQ section and uh, let's turn on EQ1. Okay, so we have a little bit of a low cut. I believe these are shelf EQs, so they're not gonna be like a complete cut, but just low shelf, a mid shelf, a high shelf. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's just the way it sounds to me. We're gonna mess around with the high as well, just to add a bit of air, a bit of sparkle to the white noise. So you can add about three, four dB, play around with it. Okay, uh, to finish things off, we can add a compressor if you'd like before the reverb. Um, it's really not necessary. The sound is just so basic that you really don't need a compressor. It's gonna be mostly EQ and reverb. Um, I would add a reverb. We can add something like a uh, this big room reverb. All right, so it's sounding pretty cool. We can now adjust the volume to see you know, how it sounds overall. And um, of course, remember what I said about the width. So let's leave it at 50%. And um, let's just add an automation clip. And what you could do is just do something like this. If you guys wanna do like a burst, you can also automate the low pass. Um, now, of course, you can use this however you like, but 
And there you have it. You guys just have something very basic. Maybe you just want a little pulse of white noise. You know, in the next song that I'm working on, Pharaoh, I have little bursts of white noise at each impact. So in that one, it would have been more like something like this. You can get creative with it. Um, you guys can also make risers. So let's say you guys want to make maybe the width increase over time, maybe over four bars, eight bars. Then of course you guys can do something else like this. And where the power of Dune really lies is their mod matrix. Uh, I'm going to do a video talking about the mod matrix, how you guys can implement just so much power in Dune. Dune is like one of those gems. It's really underrated in terms of, um, it's just, it's, it's sound. The sound is just so fat. The sound is so damn unique. Um, so let's go ahead and just automate this 50 to 100. Okay. And you guys can see, um, so easy, so simple. Check out Dune 2 if you haven't already. Uh, link is in the video description. And you guys will be able to really elevate your um, your productions by just messing around with these easy knobs. Because I find that um, at least a lot of the go-to synths, yeah, they have noise, sure. But um, they don't give you like a very nice noise panel in the way that Dune does with its just general low pass, high pass width. Um, so comment below, let me know, what do you guys do for white noise? Do you guys go to synthesizers? This was just a really solid tip that I use in most of my productions. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you didn't, drop a dislike. I'm gonna go be hitting up the gym, so I'm gonna go make some gains. Make sure you guys are subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, peace!